What's up, man? It's your boy Nick of All Trades, man, coming at y'all from Washington, D.C. And right now we had a dilemma, or well, they had a dilemma. Y'all look under there, you see this fork isn't big enough to get these pallets off of here or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So they got to figure out a solution on how to get this stuff up out of here real quick. And um, it's like it's about to be a long day. You know, I've been missing money all weekend and shit. I'm cussing because I'm, I'm, I'm hungry and all this stuff. There's no microwave around here. You know, it's a nice little town out here, whatever, but it's too tight. It's too congested, too tight or whatnot. I'm up here at the construction site dealing with um, dynamic something or whatnot, man. And um, this shit need to come off. I'm supposed to be in Pittsburgh in about the next four hours or whatnot. And they got nine pallets to get off of here or whatnot. And it stretched all the way to the back back there. But as you can see, that little fort is too small. I don't know why the shipper and the receiver didn't know that this type of stuff was going to happen or whatnot. They should have got four warnings or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So people could be prepared. I've been out here since Friday. You know, I've been dealing with some rude people and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? I've been dealing with some cool people too, cause I actually got stuck. And somebody got out the truck and actually helped me get off one of these side streets and whatnot. You know, everywhere you go down here in the downtown, I guess, area, I guess is where I'm at. It's one way here, one way there. Freaking roads are small or it's just cars on both sides of the streets. And I got this big long, truck see how long it is try to maneuver around the city man it took me 30 minutes to get from that red light to where i'm at right now standing and park this truck or whatnot you know you got a dummy back here they parked their car back in the little spot that we needed the space for or whatnot i got my reflectors out in the back we got the people back there holding the stop sign or whatnot you know see like everybody up patient I had to wait on these guys to go ahead and take a lunch or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? I've been at it since seven o'clock. But like I said, I've been here since Friday, so I think I'm gonna need some detention pay. Now they're trying to figure out how they gonna maneuver this stuff up out of here. I don't know how y'all gonna do it, but y'all gotta get this stuff up off my truck, man. That's just what it is. DC is not made for truckers or Big trucks, long trucks, it's just not. You know, I swear, I should be a professional trucker by now, you know what I'm saying? The stuff I've been maneuvering through, man, it's just crazy, man. It's real crazy. But, um, I don't know, this is a construction spot. They building a high school over here, uh, right off of Rhode Island and 9th Avenue. And, Lunchtime is over, man. Playtime is over, man. Y'all gotta figure this out. We're getting this shit together, man. <laughs> Straight up. But uh, hopefully, man, they'll get this thing going, man, because uh, my next stop is Pittsburgh. I need to be there before 11 o'clock. Oh, what well, shit? You wanna say peace? What's up to the camera? Same, same, it's one of the guys that's gonna get this shit together right here, you know what I'm saying? If there's a will, there's a way, right? Y'all, there's no way y'all could make this turn this way like if y'all have it facing out this way then bring it out or nothing we can try if we want we can move if we hold on this thing we can get out yeah me too well, we got the rulers out you know what i'm saying Y'all construction workers, man. Y'all know what y'all should know what y'all doing out here, man. Look at the city out here, man. It, it actually do feel nice out here and stuff, man. I'm still pissed off though. I asked one of the ass if, if they had a microwave. One dude said yeah, the other dude said no, man. So somebody freaking lying. Nobody could have took the time out just to warm my little food up. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, man. Then you got these idiots on the road. Everybody was being the freaking rush and stuff. Y'all see my reflector lights out there and stuff. And everybody trying to motherfucking still get over in this lane and stuff, man. People crazy. This lady here eating a donut. But anyways, man. 
This lick of all trades, man. Give y'all the close up. This is stuff that I gotta go through. I'm pretty sure other truckers done went through some stuff too, man. Boy, it's never a dull moment when I'm on the road, man. I swear. I wonder what it's gonna be like when I get up there to Pittsburgh, man. Well, yeah, man. We got a board. We got the crane. And we got these packages. And then, still gotta get all that stuff from back there. Sort of like nine packages in here or whatnot. But it's gonna be the hardest long package in the world. But my thing is, why we don't have a dock or nothing like that? Like the, the shipper just didn't care. The receiver didn't care. They just like, get it here. And once they got it here, it's like, man, now we gotta figure something else now. I've been out here damn near two hours. Ain't nothing been moved yet. You know? This is Columbia, man. Some nice cars out here and whatnot. Some people that's scared to drive. <laughs> Everybody look like they want to be on camera and stuff. All y'all gonna be on camera, man. Straight up. Straight up. It do feel good out here, like I said. I might be rambling a little bit, but I'm just hot, man. I'm ready to go. End of the day, man. So hopefully we get this day figured out. But I don't even know how they even get a fort that's gonna be that long or whatnot. And then if we try to turn it the other way, that might be too long. Oh, it still, oh, it might be not wide enough or whatnot. So let's see how that work out. We got the rule out right now. Jump on the truck if you wanna. It's too long. It's too long, man. This is crazy. Why they didn't let y'all know that there was gonna be long pallets or whatnot? I don't know. They get it out they they get it out they little distribution center and they put the problem on us. Yeah. It's too long. It's too long, right. I never seen long pallets like this. And then there's nowhere there's no dock or nowhere to just put something on it and then take it off like there's nothing. Life of a trucker. Mother trucker, man. Mother trucker. But listen, man. It's your boy Nick of all trades. How many is that? It's nine. Nine? Nine of them. Same thing? All, all them? Yeah, I think, they, I think so. I've never been back here. Right. But they all look like they're the same size. Shit, I can jump up here real quick. This is long. No, that's longer. It's longer. Look at this. They got some long as hell. Short. Oh man, this is about to be a long day. It's all of them long. This the shortest one. Yeah, this the shortest. I don't know what y'all about to do. But well, YouTube, man, I'ma holler at y'all, man, whatever this junk get up out of here or whatnot, man. But they don't even know what to do. But this is what it is, man. When you trucking, this is what it is. You gotta deal with the bull crap. So I'ma holler at y'all, man. This nigga of all trades, man. Truck life, man. I'll let your boy.